Welcome back to movementprofessional.com. This week's movement of the week, uh, we're going to start to dive into the concept of uh, self-care using myofascial techniques. The first one we're going to start with is a psoas release. Uh, I want to start here just because I find this to be one of the most therapeutic tools that I use when treating patients. Uh, I find it very helpful for helping back pain, hip pain, uh, front anterior knee pain. Uh, basically, look at this as like the keystone to any uh, pelvic malalignment. Uh, the anatomy of the psoas is is such that it attaches to every vertebrae of your lumbar spine. So when it's restricted, it creates a compressive force on the side that it's restricted on, which can lead to a side bending if it's unilateral, or more frequently, if it's bilateral, it leads to a anterior rotation of the pelvis. This anterior rotation will then lead to a chain of imbalance in the hips, knees, etc. Uh, so I want to get you guys started with this. Uh, we'll be doing further myofascial techniques down the line, uh, but enjoy this one. Right, so we're here at Pain Relief Physical Therapy in Havertown. Uh, we're working here on the psoas release using a 6-inch, in this case it's a medicine ball, um, you can use any ball that's about six inches depending on where you are in the uh, recovery process or uh, how much pressure that your tissue is able to tolerate. Um, so you could start with like a little play softball. They might get it at a toy store. Uh, you can use a woman's softball and wrap a towel around it. Uh, in this case, they're using a six-inch medicine ball. Uh, another ball that works well is a Power Systems Myo Release Ball at 6 inches. So you're going to put it between the front of your hip bone, your uh, ASIS, for those who are familiar with the anatomy, otherwise it's just going to be the bony part of the front of your hip and uh, your belly button. So in that area is where the ball is going to lay. And then you're going to just rest on it. Your head's going to look away from the ball. And to know that you're in the right spot, what you're going to do is squeeze your, in this case it would be your right buttock, and just lift that leg up that direction. And that just takes you into some hip extension, which will push into the ball because we're working on the psoas muscle, muscle, which is a hip flexor. So that'll tend to stretch that psoas muscle, which puts pressure into the ball, and then you know you're on the right spot. So this is a very boring video because all you're going to do there is then just lie on the ball for up to two minutes. What's important about this is the breathing. So once the ball is in the spot, you want to just try to take as long, of, uh, take longer exhales. The longer the exhales, the more that the ball is going to sink up and release that muscle. When you breathe in, the belly will kind of push into that ball which will be uncomfortable. This, depending on how restricted the muscle is, it will can be pretty uncomfortable. Allow the exhale to allow your body to relax and allow the ball to sink up into the muscle. Alright, so about two minutes you're going to try to do and then you can switch to the other side. Alright, so there's the point that you're going to put the ball. Alright, and we'll lay on the other side. And you're just resting. Alright, so about two minutes each spot. Uh, this is definitely a go-to exercise for low back pain, anterior hip pain, knee pain. Basically, if this muscle is restricted, it pulls your pelvis forward uh, into an anterior pelvic tilt, which causes all the muscles in the front of your body to shorten, all the muscles in the, back, the opposite side of the body to get over lengthened. Uh, neither muscles work well in that case and they're not able to be strengthened as much but it also can lead to many imbalances which cause compression in the spine and the other joints mentioned.